to the fourth video of how to build a website totally from scratch with nothing on the page. This is the fourth video. Oh, this is a very important video, guys, because this is going to deal with ID tags. ID tag is the fundamental basis of doing a professional web solution for your clients, for yourself, for your company. So let's get started here. Okay, now I just want to point out some things to you guys. This is a paragraph as an example. This is a paragraph. This is a paragraph. This is a paragraph. This is a paragraph. This is not a paragraph. This is an H tag, or specifically an H2 tag. How do I know that? Because on the bottom left it says H2. This is an H1 tag. How do I know that? Because on the bottom left it says H1. Now, here's my objective here. I'm just going to zoom out. Command minus or control minus so I can see the entire page. This page has no structure as far as box structure because we haven't created div tags. We're going to create div tags in our very next video and give the div tag an ID. Okay, ID tagging is essential to proper CSS formatting if you want to talk to things specifically. So as an example, again, this is a paragraph. And this is a paragraph. So question, how can I talk to this paragraph separately from this paragraph? Okay, because they're both P for paragraph. So how can I talk to this paragraph? So as an example, say I want this entire paragraph to be bold. Let's say I want the entire paragraph to be indented. So how can I accomplish this? I can do this by giving this particular paragraph an ID. D, very simple to do. Select the tag, select the tag, and in the property palette, I can ID this tag. Right now it says none, because it doesn't have an ID. Now, you can start out your IDs with a number, but we can do something like this. We're gonna call this first, F-I-R-S-T. First what? Now, important step here, guys. Don't just call it first, because it, it this needs to make sense to you when you, when you edit the site two months, three months, four months from now. So call it something that makes sense. In the CSS palette, it's going to call it pound symbol first. Now, what does that mean? First div, first photo, first what? So give it a proper name. Now, important step here. ID tags are totally made up. I can call this the Al Pacino tag. I can call it the monkey head tag. I'm going to call it something that makes sense to me. I'm going to ID the tag and call it first capital P-A-R-A. -A. Now that first para as in paragraph is camel case. Does it have to be camel case? No, but I just want to see that it says first para enough for para. Okay, so a good have to get into is you capitalize the second, third, fourth, fifth word of that chain. So in this particular case, I'm going to ID that particular paragraph to be called first para and hit the return key. Make it change, save it change. Now, this first paragraph has an ID right here. So if you want to create a rule for that new ID, I select the tag, I select the tag, come over here to the right and make a new CSS rule. New CSS rule. Now, Dreamweaver is smart enough to know that this is an ID tag, so therefore it put the ID selector here. ID selects ID. Now, important step here. Okay, we did not call it pound symbol or hashtag or tic tac toe tag, whatever you want to call that. I call it the pound symbol. Okay, we didn't call it pound symbol first para, we simply called it first para because it's an ID tag. Dreamweaver knows to put a pound symbol to create a CSS rule. So it automatically selects ID. You don't have to click anything else. It does it for you. So I hit OK. So this, what is the name of this dialog box? CSS rule definition for first para. Now, the parent tag is still the P tag. So it's inherent from the parent minus the changes that we're going to make to this. So as an example, I'm going to go to the category called block, block category. This is where I can do alignment. I can do 
text alignment, I can do word spacing, I can do letter spacing. In this particular case, we're going to dent the paragraph using M spaces. We're going to dent this paragraph that's been ID'd with first para with two EM spaces. So if I hit the apply option, we'll see that this paragraph over here to the left has been indented with two M spaces, and M is equal equal to the height of the letter M. Now, we could do other things in this paragraph. Let's go to the type menu, and let's make this paragraph bolder. So if I hit the apply option, the paragraph is now bolder. Okay, it's endless what we can do with the paragraph. Now, ID tags should technically appear after the HTML. So ID tags, I'm going to put after my HTML tags. So this way they have a place. This way the structure. So if you're juggling five websites, if you come up with some kind of system, this system serves me right. So this system says, okay, asterisk tag is on top, followed by the HTML tags, followed by an ID tag. So what else can we do with this first paragraph? So as an example, Let's select this paragraph and let's put this paragraph inside of A. Let's make the type white because we're going to put it inside of a blue box. So how can we do this? Okay, so let's generically call this paragraph, you guessed it, let's generically call this paragraph second paragraph. Again, I can't start out with numbers. I'm going to type S-E-C-O-N-D, camel case, P-A-R-A. Second para, make a change, save a change. So let's create a rule for the second paragraph. Second para, select the tag, select the tag, make a rule. Make a rule for the selected tag. Again, it knows that's an ID tag, so it selects the selector for you. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, now we're gonna hit okay. So in this particular case, I want to make my paragraph color E -E white. Okay, now I'm going to go to the background because I want the background of my paragraph to be blue. So if I hit the apply option right now, watch what happens. Now it's not going to change the strong tag. The strong tag is still going to say to stay red. Okay, now the background color is blue for this particular paragraph that we called second para okay now important stuff from a design standpoint okay i don't want my type smashing up against my box so under category box we're not going to set the width and the height although we could set the width and the height okay we're going to set the padding to say five pixels of padding all the way around padding space is the space inside the paragraph inside the paragraph if we wanted to separate this blue box from the next content, which is an H2 tag, that would be margin space. Margin space is outside the paragraph. Padding space is inside the paragraph. Okay. Now, in addition to this, we could go back to type, and we can say make our font bigger in percentages. So whatever our default typeface is, you don't have to guess what the default typeface was. So if we set our default typeface to 14 inside the body tag. That's a simple thing to not remember. You might forget that. I simply want to make this type bigger. So I can say 125%. Now it's going to be 25% bigger than the base paragraph tag. Okay. Make a change. Save a change. So ID tags can be applied to any tag, h1 tag, h2 tag, paragraph tags, image tags, div tags, any tag that falls under these categories. So if I go to tag, these are the tags I can ID. I can ID any one of these tags. Therefore, I can talk to them separately. Why is it important? Because I don't, this is a paragraph tag. This is a paragraph tag. This is a paragraph tag. They're all the P tag. So therefore, the P by default becomes the parent tag for these paragraphs. But I can talk to that particular paragraph 
an idea. So it's a very powerful technique. Once we, in our next video, we're going to basically put this content inside of div tags and give the div tags ID. That's how I structure the format, the width, the height, the border of my website. We'll do that in the next video. But experiment with ID tags. The only thing is you can start the ID with a number. So thanks again. The next video will be posted later today. Joy day, carpe diem. Please, please, please like my video. Show me support. Show me love. Subscribe to my YouTube service and follow me on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash think, learn, earn. Talk to you soon.